All right, guys, so mine just got done downloading. So you can either double click this, or if you're not using uh, Chrome, which you should be, then just go to your downloads folder. Mine is in Bucky. Where are you at? Downloads. Downloads. And this is the piece of software that we just downloaded, the file that we just downloaded, should I say. So double click this, and it's choose yes. It's pretty much going to take you through a wizard. Very simple stuff. Just click next. I agree. Let me just read this. Yep. Read all that. Agree. We can just select the defaults for anything. And install. Holy crap, that is fast. Alright, so this bad boy's installing, and once it's ready, and actually it puts an um, uh, icon on your desktop, which is actually really handy by default. Yes, I do. So this bad boy opens up, and it might take a while if you're starting it for the first time to boot up. And the first thing I actually want to do is minimize that, and well, I can click next, finish out of that. And I want to make um, a folder on my desktop, so new folder. And this is where I'm going to be putting all of my project files. So I'm going to put C underscore tutorials. <laughs> And also, I want to mention this. Um, make sure you, that you just don't make a folder called C because that is um, the name of your hard drive. So if you try to make another folder called C, then it's going to uh, get confused. So again, anyways, just don't name it C. You know, it's probably self-explanatory, but heads up just in case you uh, forgot. So once you got that taken care of, open up your um, IDE again. And okay, kind of overwhelming. So I want to show you guys how to get started. What we need to do is we need to create a new project. So you can either click this button right here or you can just go to file, new, project, whatever you feel like. And of course, we have a bunch of options. And what we want to select is this right here, console application. This is basically just a simple program for your desktop. It's not like for a phone. It doesn't have any weird settings or anything like that. So console application and hit go and it says okay a little alert whatever and it says what programming language to use um, basically this piece of software can use two different languages C++ is like um, well it's we're not learning it so just go ahead and pick C because well that's what this tutorial series is about click next and it says okay the first thing is give a title to your project and I'm just going to name mine, uh, actually I'm, I'm probably going to be using this one for a while. So I'll just name it Bucky's um, Program. Something stupid, probably the stupidest thing you can think of. And as you can see, the other stuff automatically fills in as well, the project file name and the resulting file name. And pretty much saying, where do you want to save this? And of course, I want to save it in that folder that I just created click OK and click next all of this stuff is good by default basically asking um, what compiler do you use but whenever you download it everything is set up perfectly so don't mess with any of this stuff just click finish and blank screen we must have messed something up well actually if you go to your left you're gonna be able to see all your projects right here so this is the name of the project that we just created Bucky's program or whatever you named yours and all of the files that we have right now are in the sources folder. So if we click that little plus sign, we're going to see that it automatically created one file for us called main.c. So go ahead and double click this and it's going to open up right here. So pretty much all of your files are going to be on the left hand side. This right here is pretty much your text editor like notepad. And up here are a bunch of settings that I'm not going to like explain everyone right now because it, it would be like the most boring video ever so I'm just gonna be explaining them as we need them so basically um, the first thing that we see is we get all of this by default and this is actually a very simple program now I know you guys don't know what any of this means right now but I do want to show you guys how to run the program whenever you're ready so we can actually run this right now by clicking this little button it's called a uh, build and run and it, it takes actually a couple steps to run your program. The first one is to compile it or build it. 
pretty much take all of this code, the words that we understand, and it translates it, translates it to ones and zeros. Now once you have that uh, program or that file that the computer can run, you can click run, or you're just gonna be clicking this and it does it all in one shebang. So click this, it builds it, converts it, and runs it. And the final result, result of this program, it just prints out hello world on the screen. So again, I know you guys don't know what all these words mean and why we're using all these symbols, but I just wanna show you guys how to get up and started right now and in the next tutorials I'm going to be explaining what all this crap is and how we can um, well start making programs and actually before I let you guys go the last thing I want to mention is in these tutorials I'm going to be typing a whole bunch of source code and if you guys just want to like sit back and watch the tutorials and then get the source code later on I'm going to be posting all of the source code on my website so if you go to my website buckysroom.org and if you click forum then in the C section, C section, <laughs> get it? Anyways, uh, if you just click that right there, then of course my source code isn't posted right now because I'm I haven't typed anything yet. I'm just making the videos now. But all of uh, the source code is going to be right here. Just click on um, it's, it will be like uh, source code for the tutorial number four. Click it. You can just copy the code and boom. I'll give it to you guys for free. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, well, I'll see you guys in the next video.